in this video we are going to discuss about three schema architecture or three levels of uh, uh, abstraction we know what is a database so database contains uh, a collection of uh, large amount of data uh, but for a user user requires only limited uh, piece of information user doesn't requires that vast amount of uh, data okay here for that purpose this abstraction is needed so abstraction means representing or showing essential features so representing or showing abstract view of data and hiding unnecessary details and hiding the background details is called as abstraction so only uh, the information which is needed for the user so only that information will be visible to the user okay so this is about uh, what is abstraction so the major uh, need of this architecture is in order to implement data abstraction so showing only uh, useful piece of the information and hiding that vast amount of uh, data okay so here uh, one more major goal here is uh, in order to separate user application from the database this three schema architecture is needed so here we have on top of the external schema we have end users we have users so that user application will be separated from the database so by using this three schema architecture so in between the users and the database we have three schemas are there external schema conceptual schema physical schema so what is schema schema mainly describes the structure of the database so if you take student database so the structure of the student database is roll number name marks and some information one one is the roll number so 10 is the marks some name is triple a so that is nothing but structure of the student likewise if you take employee database employee number employee name marks so the that defining the structure defining the structure of the database is called as schema here mainly we have three schemas are there so the first one is excel schema or can also be called as view schema or can also be called as view level excel level second schema is conceptual schema which can also be called as logical schema or logical level third one is physical schema or internal schema or physical level and bottom we have some database so database may be stored in hard disk or magnetic tape in the old days we use just magnetic tape but nowadays we are using hard disk only for storing the database so let us discuss about all these schemas one by one so the first one is excel schema so what are the other names for excel schema view schema or view level or excel level so this is the highest level of abstraction whereas physical schema is the lowest level of the abstraction so what is view so view means which information will be visible to the user so here we have uh, different types of views uh, let us take he here we have different types of users are there uh, let we have three types of users so first one is some student let us take the example of uh, some university we have three types of users are there students second one is faculty so third one is principal if we take any college let us take uh, these three types of users so the view of the student will be different from the view of the faculty likewise the view of the faculty is different from the view of the principal principal so what is a view view means which information will be visible to the user uh, we know that database contains a vast piece of information but all that information is not uh, needed for uh, uh, these three types of users so only useful information will be visible to these three types of users okay so view means that website home page if you take student so for student uh, the information is uh, uh, student need attendance so semester attendance and student need some marks so student view mainly contains these two things attendance and marks for all the semesters 
so first semester attendance marks second semester attendance marks so likewise uh, mainly student view contains these two things here student can't access faculty information student can't view uh, the the salary details of the faculty student can't view the details of the principal so likewise some permissions some access permissions will be granted for each user so likewise if you take if you consider the view of the faculty so faculty can post faculty can enter attendance for the student likewise faculty can post marks for the student faculty can apply a leave next to faculty can view salary information his salary information likewise there are so many provisions for the faculty so likewise if you take principal principal will have more provisions principal can change the entire architecture okay principal will have more privileges than the student and faculty so that is nothing but view which information will be visible to which type of user why because here the problem is database contains a large amount of data but for a view for a uh, student student need, need only few information likewise faculty uh, needs limited amount of information so only the information which is needed so only that information will be provided to them by the database system so this is about xnl schema or uh, view schema or view level or xnl level so this is the highest level of the abstraction and the next level of uh, and the next highest level of abstraction is conceptual schema or which can also be called as logical schema or uh, logical level it is mainly useful in order to uh, define the structure of the database so what is the structure of the database what is structure of the database so that is to be defined here what is structure of the database so that is to be specified in conceptual schema so the best example for this one is if you take the construction of the house so first we have to design the blueprint so first we have to design the blueprint so according to the blueprint only the builder will build build our house so likewise before implementing the database before creating the tables first we have to design them so this conceptual schema is mainly useful for designing the database so what is the major advantage of this one we use a conceptual schema for designing the databases for designing the databases we use us for designing the databases mainly we use us er diagram in rdbms we know that nowadays we are using relational database management system rdbms in rdbms mainly er diagram is useful in order to design the database okay um, uh, here e stands for entity r stands for relationship so entity means any object that has physical existence is called as entity so entity is nothing but uh, uh, anything that has the physical existence so student is an entity next faculty is an entity this board is an entity duster is an entity this marker pen is an entity so anything that has physical existence is called as entity so entity so likewise here entity contains a collection of attributes if you take student entity student entity contains attributes like uh, student roll number name marks uh, so entities next the attributes next we will have relations so relationships are mainly useful in order to connect two entities two entities if we consider uh, student and course so there is um, some relationship between student and uh, uh, course so student study the course so student enroll for the course whereas what is the relationship between uh, uh, faculty and the uh, uh, course faculty taught the course to the corresponding students okay so here in order to connect the entities we use as uh, relationships uh, next here uh, in order to create the tables in order to create the entities we use as data types uh, next to various integrity constraints so everything will be defined here so conceptual schema mainly contains structure of the database structure of the database let database contains 10 tables 
so that 10 tables information will be stored okay physically that information will be stored in the physical schema but actually that uh, database uh, the table creation will be done in logical schema or logical level okay so so for the for designing the database here er diagram is used so in er diagram so mainly we have to design the entities attributes relationships uh, next to data types constraints constraints so everything will be provided here okay and the next level is physical level of the abstraction physical schema so physical schema can also be called as internal schema or physical level okay uh, so physical schema means what how the data is actually stored how the data is actually stored in the corresponding database generally data will be stored in the database by using magnetic tapes and hard disk so in which location in hard disk in which location the corresponding data will be stored so in order to store the data we have various concepts are there like b trees b plus trees hashing so by using those approaches uh, the data will be stored in the uh, hard disk we will discuss about b trees b plus trees and hashing in dbms later so this is the physical schema so physical schema means lowest level of the abstraction so this is about uh, uh, three schema architecture or uh, three levels of the abstraction so this is about uh, three levels of abstraction 